Hi there, good day and welcome to Techvatiyar. I am Janira. In this video, we are going to implement multiplexers and demultiplexers using logic gates. For this purpose, we are going to use the Logisim software and we will be implementing only 4 cross 1 multiplexer and 1 cross 4 demultiplexer. So first let us try to understand what a multiplexer and a demultiplexer is. So the function of a multiplexer is to select any input of the n input lines that are fed. And out of these n input lines, it selects any one input and it provides it at the output. And which input is selected that is absolutely based on select lines. So the demultiplexer performs the inverse of this operation. There is one input that is fed to the demultiplexer and there are n output lines that are generated. So this one input line occurs at any one of these output lines. So that is also based on the select lines that is given to the demultiplexer. Now let us try to understand what exactly is a multiplexer. A multiplexer is also called as a data selector. So it's in the name. So it is a device that has multiple inputs and it provides a single line output. So the select lines always determine which input is connected to the output. So uh, there are a lot of applications of multiplexers. It helps in sending a lot of data within limited time duration. So there are different types of multiplexers. There is 2 to 1 multiplexer, 4 to 1, 8 to 1 and 16 to 1. So this 2 to 1 multiplexer has only one select line. So and 4 to 1 multiplexer has two select lines. So how is the select line chosen? That is like, let's say for example, this is 2 to the power n. So here it is 2 to the power 1. So which means that there is one select line. 4 is 2 to the power 2. So there are two select lines. 8 is 2 to the power 3. So there are three select lines lines and so on. We will be learning about a 4 cross 1 multiplexer and this is the diagram of a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. There are 4 inputs, 2 select lines and 1 output and this is the logic representation of the same diagram and this is the truth table. So we will be checking out this circuit using Logism software and we will verify if this truth table is satisfied. So in order to implement the schematic of a multiplexer, we just have to go to plexers in Logic Sim and choose the multiplexer, place it on the screen. We, we need a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. So here there are only two inputs and there is only one select bit. So we can change the select bit to 2 so that we get a 4 cross 1 multiplexer and we have to give 4 inputs here and one output is to be provided. So I have given the 4 inputs now and I give one output. And I also give the select lines as an input. The direction of this input has to be changed. And it can directly be connected over here. Okay, so now there is a mismatch here that uh, it says incompatible with. So in that case, it means that our select line is a 2-bit select line. So you can just click on that and you can change the data bit to 2 so that you get a 2-bit select line. So the rest of the inputs and outputs can immediately be connected and we can check the operation of the multiplexer. We can also verify the truth table whether it satisfies or not. So our inputs and outputs are connected. I change to the poke tool and when it is all zero and when the select line is zero zero, I give a one at this input and I get a one here. So it is important that we also name our inputs and outputs. I'll call this D0, D1, D2 and D3 and I call this output Y and I call my select lines as S1 and S0. All right. So now I change back to my poke tool. So when it is 0, 1, my D1 comes at the output. When the select lines are 1, 0, whatever I give in D2, that is selected and provided at the output. When it is 1, 1, my D3 is provided at the output. And this is how we implement a multiplexer using Logisim. I also suggest that you name your circuit. I call my circuit a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. And I choose the circuit and push it to one corner and I'll implement the same circuit using logic gates now.
A demultiplexer is also called as a data distributor. So this is a device which has one input signal and it has multiple output lines. So it can send one input signal to many devices. And a demultiplexer is mainly of four types, 1 to 2 demultiplexer, 1 to 4, 1 to 8 and 1 to 16. So here also the select lines is chosen based on the number of output lines. So if it is 2 to the power 1, there is one select line. If it is 2 power 2, there is two. If it is 2 power 3, there are three select lines and so on. So this is the schematic representation, this is the logic diagram and this is the truth table of a demultiplexer. So you can see that there is one input data, there are two select lines and there are four outputs that is generated here. So we are going to implement the demultiplexer circuit using Logism software. So in order to implement the demultiplexer circuit, I can just click on add circuit here and I call my circuit a demux. I can pick one of the plexers here out of the demultiplexers. I pick it and place it on my screen. I increase the number of select bits to two. I have to give only one input here and I have four outputs. So I can just use Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy and paste the output pins. And I also have to give another input which is the select line. So I just connect it here but then I have to change the direction of the pin to north. Alright, so now it says that the number of width, uh, bits or it, the width of it is incompatible. So I have to click here and I have to change the bits to 2. Now it's fine. All good to go. I give the connections of my output pins. And that's done. So now I can change the inputs when I am giving a 1 here. When there is 0, 0, I get the 1 at the first output. When it is 0, 1, it comes at the second output. And remember to name it. So let's call this as A. I'll call this as D0, D1, D2, and D3. And I'll call the select lines as S1 and S0. And once again, I change the select lines to 1, 0, I get the output at D2. When it is 1, 1, I get the output at D3. So that is my demultiplexer. I also name this circuit as a 1 cross 4 demultiplexer. I can select this and I can put it in a corner so that I can implement the demultiplexer using logic gates now. Now for the sake of comparison, let me put the multiplexer and demultiplexer circuits together in parallel and see how it works. So I'll name it as combination. I go to my main, I pick the multiplexer circuit, control C, I go to combination, control V. Alright, I place my circuit here and then from the demultiplexer, I will pick this entire circuit. Control C, I go to combination and I paste it here. Now let me try and put these both together. So I'll just remove these inputs. I'll just move it over here and attach it together. So now to see what output I am getting at my multiplexer, I will add an LED in between. So I'll change the direction to south and I'll connect it here. So now when there is 0, 0 at my S1 and S0 at the multiplexer and there is 0, 0 here, I give a 1 at my D0 and I get 1 at my D0 at the demultiplexer also. So what if it is a 0, 1? Then it doesn't work. 0, 1 here at D1, I get it at D1. What if it is 1, 0? 1, 0, whatever I give in D2, I get it at my output. When it is 1, 1, my D3, I get it at the output. So this is a comparison. 
Now let us see some of the major applications of multiplexers. Multiplexers are used in various applications where a single line is used for transmitting multiple data. It can be used in communication systems where audio and video data from different channels are to be sent through single lines or cables. It can be used in computer memory for reducing the number of copper lines that are required to connect the memory to other parts of the computer. It can be used in telephone networks where multiple audio signals are integrated on a single line of transmission with the help of a multiplexer. It can be used in transmission from a computer system of a satellite. Similarly, the demultiplexers are also used in multiple applications where a single source has to transmit information to multiple destinations. For example, the communication system, arithmetic logic unit and serial to parallel converters. I hope you had a fun time learning about multiplexers and demultiplexers. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.